Hello friends and followers, good afternoon. Well, what do I have here? I have some grease that is supposedly used in printers. So printers have plastic gears and these drakes have plastic gears. And so this is synthetic, how do you say that? Polylefin PAO lubricant grease. So I got this on eBay from somebody and they're showing plastic gears, right? So. The PTOs are plastic gears, and I'm going to try some on here. I, I don't like really running these things dry. I know you can't put regular oil on these things, but this might be the ticket to a smooth PTO. I put this one together dry, and yeah, it works, but it seems like there's always a little bit of tiny bit of resistance. So this is a PTO for the, uh, the earlier serial, serial number. R4C that came in and I'll give you an update on that R4C. So anyway, yeah, the PTO is going together. Um, I cleaned up the uh, PTO. It was a real mess as they usually are. And this time, uh, of course, I took it out. I used WD-40 to uh, clean out the bearings, get all the crud out of it, and here is the trusty Allen wrench that I used to tighten the bearings up on it, tighten up the race a little bit. Just put that guy into there all the way down and tightened it. And the radio itself has been a real mess. I've been I've been cleaning it with this. Uh... Oh, actually, this is interesting. I, I dunked this thing twice. So this thing got two dunks in the sink. It got a first dunk to get the dust off it, and that didn't really help it a whole lot. So. The second effort here has been using some uh, silver cleaning polish to try and get the chassis cleaned off, and it did work some miracles, but this is still not a show radio. It's not a museum quality radio, and it never will be, but it does look better than how it came in a lot better, so I'm happy with that. So I gotta quit buying drakes. It's a bad habit now. And this one I got real kind of cheap, but We'll see if I didn't kill it off by trying to uh, clean it as I usually do. This one I'm not going to plug in for a while. I'm going to give it a couple days to dry out. I've been uh, blowing it off with a hair dryer and the uh, calibration board came loose bouncing around in the radio and the crystal is broken so that's no fun. But this one has the, uh, what is it, 6 HS5 or 6 tubes? For mixers, it ought to be. We'll see how it sounds. And here's the bottom of the radio. Yeah, it needs some wiping off down here. This was probably the dirtiest radio I've ever had, or maybe the second second one. The first radio I ever bought, the first T4XB I ever bought was really filthy. This one was a close second. Yeah, this is probably the worst radio I ever had besides the other one, but it's cleaning up and that's about it. I'm not sure if there's any crystals in there. I don't think there are. So we'll see. I'm in no hurry to get this thing running. I've been playing with the other R4C and listening to that one. This one. I'll just take my sweet time to get it working. But anyway, I don't like stuff hanging around that's not ready to go. So I'm going to put this back together and see how it works out with the uh, lubrication. I'll get back to you. Okay, well, yeah, I want to get my uh, <laughs> desk cleaned up. It's a mess. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.